Your hostess, Miss Ann Unicor, welcome to the fifth annual Industry Film Mixer here in Hartford, Connecticut. We are at the studios of Mr. Joe Young, Young Studios. So happy to be here. And with me today, I have Lynn Kagan. She is not only an actress, but she is also a filmmaker and a puppeteer. I'd like to welcome her here today. Hi there, Lynn. Thanks for joining me here on the show. My pleasure. Now, we were just seeing a quick clip of something called The Telltale Heart, which mm -hmm. is a short film that you recently directed. Mm -hmm. I produced, directed, edited it. Uh, I recently uh, finished graduate school at the University of Connecticut in the puppet program and uh, produced and directed this, this film. Uh, it's based on the short story by Edgar Allan Poe, mm -hmm. and um, it, uh, it has all puppets. We used uh, marionettes and rod puppets, both. Now, what inspired you to do this particular short? Um, you know, uh, it was a story that uh, my dad used to tell me when I was a kid. He used to read it to me uh, when I was about 10, and I used to just really get a kick out of it. And I always wanted to kind of preserve it in some way mm -hmm. because it was so special to me. And I, when I became interested in puppetry, I thought, hmm, that would be an interesting way to approach it. And then I also became interested in film, so I thought, mm, okay, we'll try this and <laughs> see, see if it works, <laughs> right. see how that works out. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was a really fantastic experience. And it, apparently by the audience's uh, response to what we just played, it, it, it worked. It's, it's, it was working well for you. It seems to work. It seems to work. Now, this interview, I want to start with current and then go backwards and tell people mm -hmm. more about you from the beginning but let's start right now is this the most current project that you've worked on um, well yes uh, I was producing and cutting this film at the same time that I was also acting in uh, another piece an original play with puppets and actors so I was kind of splitting my time doing both so I would say they were <laughs> they're both the most recent <laughs> right so things. where else can someone see this short of the telltale heart well um, it's going to screen on uh, in the end of September in the Charlotte Film Festival oh. and then it will also be screening in uh, the Independence Film Festival which is based in Florida nice um, and then previously it screened at Erie Horror Film Festival and the Atlanta Horror Film Festival good so, that's great yeah so it's kind of making festival rounds right now and hopefully you know hopefully it will be in more is it so hard we'll to see. get them into the festival it's, you know it's challenging you know it's, it's, you know sometimes you're successful sometimes you're not and uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, an, it's interesting to see how people respond to it. Now, I've been into some of the other panel rooms today, and they're talking a lot about social networking mm -hmm. and all this different types of marketing. Mm -hmm. Have you started to tap into any of that yet? Yeah, I mean, it has, it has a, a web site of its own. Uh, it has a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You know, I think anything you can do to bring awareness to your project is a is good certainly thing. a good yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. Now you actually have a degree in puppetry. Yes. Well, um, I will once I actually write my thesis and get that signed off, and I'll have a master's. A master's mm -hmm. in puppetry. Where will mm -hmm. you be getting that from? The University of Connecticut. And prior to that, you have other degrees. Though you're very, mm -hmm. um, what was the word I used before the Ecl interview? Eclectic. You're eclectic, <laughs> but your 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 acting is very. You've had a lot of formal training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where was that originally? Well, I got my uh, my my BFA in musical theater performance from the Boston Conservatory and then just have continued with private coaching and private studying in New York where I live. So I was looking over your resume Lynn and I was very impressed and then I saw some of your snippets but mm. your parts you do a lot of Shakespeare I love the classic. And you're not ju you don't just do it. You're like the leads in in so many of these Shakespearean theater plays. So I'm very almost a little bit intimidated. By <laughs> <laughs> I must tell you. So how do you memorize all those lines, and why is it that Shakespeare became near and dear to your heart? Uh, you know, I, why? I, I, I don't know. I think it's, there's something, um, there's something really universal about it. There's something that really, it really just taps into the human condition, which I think is what is, that's what drama is, and that's what last, any kind of lasting drama is something that people are going to relate to, and, and Shakespeare, I don't know, he, he was the master. He managed to do it, yeah. and we still yeah. want to hear it. We want to see it. We want to watch it. We want to experience it, and it's fun. It's fun to do. You like doing so, it. That's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you like better between, do you have a favorite between puppeteer work, uh, directing, or mm -hmm. actually performing on live stage? You know, I think they all, they're all creative pursuits, and they all 
they are different parts of your creative soul so um, it's hard to pick a favorite you know it's hard to say one is a favorite because they're all are so different and I I personally and I think a lot of people feel like they they want to have all those different outlets and be able to uh, express themselves in in many different ways was there ever a character you played and you wish you didn't have to come back like you could be that character forever and ever yeah <laughs> <Not really. laughs> I mean I think a lot of them the one I most recently did in Icarus uh, which I, I hope we will stage again uh, was um, like you know, a queen in, in uh, the Queen of Crete, and you know, who doesn't want to be the Queen of Crete? <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Can you give us sure. a line from that, just I'll, so that the audience know, can get an idea of what what that takes to deliver a line? Of you that know, what's nature? really crazy is uh, what I find as far as lines is literally you forget them the next day. Once the show's closed, they're gone. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you how you memorized all those. You lines. know, I think it's a mystery. I think ours is not to question why. We just <laughs> We just do that. Mm -hmm. What do you see for yourself in the future? Um, you know, I, uh, I'll be for, I'm forming a production company with some of the people I went to school with, so I, I see us um, producing theater, film, um, web series, uh, you know, all of the above, and who knows what else, hopefully in the near future. The reason, one of the reasons I wanted to go to school was um, as much as I love being an actor, I have a, a desire to be in control of the project, to have some control over uh, the world, uh, yeah. and just to produce our own stuff and have our own voice. And I feel lucky and privileged to have um, to have met people and to work with people who uh, who I respect and uh, really have a desire to continue on that work. So, in closing, Lynn, just let me know what your message will be. Um, hmm. Uh, you know, I I. I think because we are such, we're a collective voice, um, we we have many different voices. I, I personally have a uh, I love the horror genre, so I would bring that. But there are other people who love you classical. You do? Who, I do. <laughs> I, I have a soft guess spot by for looking. that. I do. Um, <laughs> You're so dainty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, these secret parts of our personalities. So. Um, you know, I, I think uh, we have yet to to declare a mission statement, and I wouldn't want to overstep my bounds by saying what that is before we've declared it. So, so. we'll look forward to that mission mm -hmm. statement with Lynn Kagan, actress, puppeteer, and filmmaker. Do you want to just give us a web address so that people can check in on you? Absolutely. On you? Um, my web address is lynn at lynnkagan.com, and for the Telltale Heart, it's tthpuppethorror.com. Well, thank you so much. This is Ann Bunicor at the 5th Annual Industry Film Mixer. Thanks for joining us.